hello friends and welcome to road to acp i am your host and today i bought a very interesting and you know uh, kind of intriguing topic of uh, reverse engineering that is about firmware reversing friends as we all know that firmware is nothing but the heart of all, all the embedded system that we use in our daily life be it iot devices or the routers or whatever you just think of and there will be some kind of operating system that is going to uh, that is going to function in those devices and that particular operating system is known more or less as a firmware basically firmware helps to you know uh, device uh, functional uh, according to the you know requirement so uh, while doing that uh, i actually few days ago i was just uh, you know fiddling with my router home router that was discarded long back and this is a tp link router and the figure before you right uh, figure before you just also showing the you know a dashboard page of my tp link router it's a demonstration page and there is a login page as well okay so uh, loan i am no longer using this router i have switched into some geo router these days so i'll be bringing that uh, you know firmware reversing of geo router as well i'll just try to you know uh, extract the firmware and uh, show you that how can you read into the details of it now why these firmwares are very much important many times we have seen that you try to use some kind of default you know uh, credentials for the routers and uh, you may wonder that where these uh, default credentials are basically stored in in, in this small and miniature miniature devices and how these devices are presenting this uh, you know uh, web pages before you uh, to manage the different kind of functionality of router like that uh, remote pages uh, where you just go for the login and then you are just doing different kind of settings uh, uh, your ssid keys are also being stored there so uh, how do how that uh, entire web uh, you know uh, architecture is uh, embedded into this small file system or uh, squashed into a small file system so uh, we'll be taking this thing uh, with the perspective of hands on and i hope that uh, if you just follow this video along with me then you will definitely learn at uh, its bits of uh, firmware reversing friend this field is very vast so you should not expect that in one video we'll understand the everything about the firmware reversing because sometimes uh, manufacturer definitely try to you know uh, obfuscate the firmware in such a way that you don't get a hold on to all the file system easily but still uh, i'll definitely uh, give you an uh, overview that how this thing can be done so let's uh, jump into uh, downloading the firmware from the tp link uh, website and this is the uh, firmware that which i have downloaded and the first thing that i'm just trying to do is the extracting the file system uh, using unzip command and uh, now you see uh, you have you have heard about that uh, beanwalk kind of thing uh, so i'm just showing you that what kind of file it is first of all and beanwalk is a very uh, very handy tool when it's come about the firmware reversing or anything okay so uh, i'm just trying to you know uh, uh, extract the beanware in the multiple labels and this uh, firmware version of uh, wr10 1402nv1 okay so i'm just trying to extract it and let's see what this uh, gets for us uh, so i'm just uh, you know just using that bin work minus cm and then the bin file and let's see it will going to take some time so just bear with me okay because this is not the time that i am taking this time it is uh, taken by the process itself uh now you can see that uh, it is presenting you a different of kind different kind of things and it is trying to extract the you know uh, nested all the possible uh, file that are uh, now squashed into a uh, bin file so uh, the most important thing that i am just going to uh, show you is about that square fresh files you can see there that's a uh, so this is the file system which i am just trying to show you okay so this particular system uh, there is a directory called uh, squash uh, fss fs root directory so i'm just going into this root directory and let's try to uh, see that what kind of a, now you can see the file file system before us okay so let's see uh, okay uh, oh so um, you know after doing this thing i uh, after you know fiddling uh, while fiddling thing sometimes it happens that you don't know that accidentally you have uh, out of your uh, you know firmware file system to your uh, main file system so this is my main file system so just uh, forgive me for that okay uh, okay 
uh, I realized it, uh, realized the mistake uh, soon, but uh, by the time it was recorded, so just you know, uh, see, I am just trying to show you my personal password. Okay, so uh, let us. Okay, let me correct it first of all, and uh, I have realized it. I am working in uh, my <coughs> user, my personal user rather than into this. So I'll just go back to the desktop area where I've kept my the firmware, extracted firmware file system. So. Okay, I think I just forgot to move, uh, forgot that. Yes, now this is okay. Let's stop. Now I'm just getting into this uh, SquareFS uh, root folder and trying to see the etc folder in that okay so i i can see all the directories so let's go into etc now this time i'm at the right right path and you can see there is a password file and you all know that what uh, what password file and what shadow file contains shadow file basically contains the encrypted password of us so you can see there are two uh, users that one is root and one is admin and both have a password uh, same password i think now uh, there are multiple ways that you can you know break uh, this password uh, using unsado command by using the password and the sado file uh, things into one pages and uh, then you unsado them and uh, ultimately you can use that uh, you know uh, john the crack or john the reaper uh, to uh, you know get into it uh, by using some uh, popular you know password list so i'm not uh, i'm just showing you a uh, thing that uh, see i'm just uh, having that password into the password dot uh, password file and i'll ultimately i'll use that txt file now i'll just use the command unshadow password password Sometimes one or you know while doing this thing, you will come to know that sometimes things works for you or sometimes it doesn't work for you. So it, you have to uh, keep on you know um, experimenting things. Okay. Now let's try to use uh, John. Okay. Let's try to use John and see what can be done. I'll just use the popular password list of rocky.txt. Okay, so you can see that it's saying um, no password. Okay okay it's because because the password tp link is empty and why it is empty i think that uh, password page is not connect. password must be empty that's why let's see uh, yes this is also empty that's why that's why i are not able uh, not see i just forgot to check i just forgot to check that uh, uh, there is nothing in the password file as well Okay, so we have got the shadow file and uh, we can use uh, this shadow file to uh, have some uh, collision using the hashcat and uh, other things. Okay, so I'm just leaving the things entirely onto you and uh, I've also tried uh, multiple ways and finally I just get into the uh, things like using hashcat. Uh, you can see that hashcat is also not resulting anything because uh, in this particular case there is a separator unmatched. So let me... 
since both the passwords are same so i just tried both the password one by one but it resulted nothing and ultimately i just uh, you know uh, use some hash collision method uh, to have the password so both the passwords are same both the hashes are same friends uh, uh, i i just want to thank you uh, everyone for you know loving uh, for giving love to my channel and i just uh, you know uh, i know that uh, sometimes i be very late uh, uh, in uh, bringing up my videos and i have told you multiple times also i have given you my excuses also that i'll uh, try to be continuous but you know, what to do there are times at the office that you uh, the, you know you are uh, hell busy with your a regular stuff then after coming home you don't have that much of energy to find out uh, things uh, for uh, you know making uh, you know uh, videos which can definitely uh, give some kind of uh, heads up to uh, your dedicated viewers i'll i'm just I, i'll definitely keep on trying uh, to improve my timing and uh, i'll not say i'll not give any excuse and so that uh, next time onwards i'll be regular but i'll try i i definitely try as long as my regular job is there obviously i cannot you know i have to be uh, punctual there also i have my deadlines over there so uh, this that th this is the thing that i am just trying to do to help uh, others uh, you know to get into the field of the cyber security and uh, you know uh, having a core hands on in things especially to beginners i am just telling you that there is nothing as a ready made help and you have to uh, find your own way Uh, to venture into this field and you know get your own solutions the more the customized solution you'll be you'll you know tailor for yourself uh, the better the grass you'll have so there are people there are people out there uh, who are who have definitely given a lot of time and energy in this field and now they have got their uh, you know separate niche in this uh, they are able to you know establish themselves in this field okay so i'm just you know i'm just still i'm just trying to uh, you know uh, show uh that uh, what i have done during that time i have uh, i could have you know removed uh, this thing altogether from this video uh, maybe because it is sounding too boring that uh, you know your teacher is getting failed but it's not about the teacher is getting failed it is about that i'm just trying to uh, keep things very real uh, it's not that everybody knows everything at all point of time sometimes you definitely have to do experiments and uh, there is no one in perfect no one perfect Uh, because this field is so vast sometimes you work on certain fields and after a few days or a few months you just forget about this thing and again you have to revisit but more or less your understanding or your basic concepts should be so okay that uh, 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 that uh, you understand that what to look for what, what to search for exactly and that is also a kind of uh, thing that uh, yeah one's need to understand so uh, friends uh, uh, as you have seen that in my last video i have uh, um, done and uh, you know password cracking of a mobile phone uh, in back of uh, two videos i have done uh, camera reversing so uh, i have uh, i'll definitely bring one by one each and in, each and every from a reversing and whatever the way i i could do and whatever time i could invest so uh, let's see one more time and uh, uh, yeah yes i'm into this fair uh, okay so there are multiple things are involved i'll show you that uh, what all things are uh, uh, the file systems are there okay uh, the first that root system uh, shadow shadow file is there okay that you have seen and let's try to see the web pages where it is so this is that uh some of the other files of this router uh which uh, the you can see the tp link uh, model name is given to you model number of 2010 actually it was working absolutely fine for me uh, and uh, actually initially i was last with a different uh, service provider but now i have switched to, switch to jio and uh, uh, completely Uh, beyond my phone so uh, they have got their own router and setups so that's why i have to 
Now these are the security TY the terminals that are possible in this router and you can see one uh, thing is there uh, let me uh, go out of this first of all uh, this is the init you know in this directory you all know so let's and i'll show you that some other files are there okay some rcs files are there so see i say rcs files are there and this files are definitely trying to set that how uh, where to you know uh, set the default path for the uh, netting and everything and let's uh, go one folder up and try to see other thing uh, so this way friends i i think i have given you enough proof that uh, uh, where these things are basically stored in a, a router and what do you have to do uh, to find out the default credentials i have give i have shown you the um, you know uh, hashes of this particular tp long uh, tp link router also and uh, next time i'll try to work on a, a different kind of uh, router or a smart watch or whatever that i'll uh, that i'll get hands on and i'll try to extract the file system of uh, that particular thing and uh, it will be different from the sqfs because there are uh, different image code uh, image code of uh, you know uh, routers are there uh, as well as cameras are there so we'll try to explore each and every devices one by one it will be a fun loving it's a fun loving things and uh, you know uh, it definitely gives you a lots of uh, lots of understanding about uh, the things okay so let's go one folder up now i think because we, i have i have shot this video uh, a few uh, days back around 10 and 12 but i was not getting enough time to you know going for the voice over so i just uh, i have to you know keep it low now today i'm getting in time and so i'm just doing it and thank you friends thank you for your time and have a great